We have one of our outdoor ferals. Oh, I'm sorry. This is slow poke. She always kind of drags uh, behind whenever we walk the dogs along with the cats. So you can see she's a black cat and there's the color contrast from the green bushes. Once again, this is shot in 4K. So there's the green. And there's Slowpoke. Uh, one thing to note, I'm shooting this in manual mode. I have the wind noise filter on and the directional mics are kind of halfway. So the front and the rear are um, evenly distributed. Sorry Slowpoke, didn't mean to bother you. Alright, this is another 4K test. I'm just uh, shooting this building and you can see it right off the blue sky. See the quality of that. Not really walking around too much uh, with it. As a matter of fact, this camera, uh, the LG V20 camera, is attached to a selfie stick and I'm sort of steadying everything out. I don't want to walk too much because the optical image stabilization when I was walking in uh, that small town down the brick street seemed to shake quite a bit. So I'm just using some smoother motion here. Once again, the directional mics are split between the front and the back, so it's another test. Uh, the sky is beautiful today. So blue, so nice, very cool. Okay, in this clip, I just want to demonstrate a 4K video in the shadow. You can see we have some flowers here along with the green of the plant, the back here with the brick, but we're in the shadow, so you can see the sunlight coming in underneath right here on this walkway so just want to see on the viewfinder I'm not so sure what it looks like I can see uh, the color of the flowers but with the shadow I'm not sure if it's washed out or where you can't really see the brightness or the vibrance of the uh, the plant and the flowers so what we'll do here right away is come out and as we walk I'm gonna to try to keep it steady but like I said it can be a little uh, shaky that's one thing with this video even with OIS it seems uh, to shake a little bit more than my 6S Plus. Now here, slight shadow here, but a little bit brighter outdoors on here as we move around. You can see, I can see the color is a lot better through the viewfinder, so I'm not sure what you're seeing, uh, but that looks a lot better. And I've experienced some uh, low light issues, but sometimes in low light, the V20 has been actually better than my 6 Plus, as you can see in the last uh, camera test video. So. Uh, let's do some more stuff. This is a uh, this is very interesting. I'm I'm really having a lot of fun uh, using this camera and, and especially the video with manual and uh, all the things you can do. So here we are at the center of the park and just scanning, or should I say panning? And there's the fountain. I'm just gonna go right to left and up a little bit. Bell's going off. You might be able to hear that. Standing right here. And very nice. Look up on the water a little bit. It's capturing a pretty good on the viewfinder. You can see the colors, see how they adjust a little bit. Autofocus seems be pretty decent coming from here up to here and then down to the flowers and then back up not bad now we're here in my studio and obviously the lighting is not fantastic but I did order an LED ring light that'll be here tomorrow and also I ordered a clip mic digital now I'm not going to be able to use it with V20 because it's only good with iOS with the lightning connector on your iOS device, but mixing that up, using the audio with this and testing the V20 on using the 4K video recording, which right now the settings what we have is the whole video was set on manual, but I pretty much let it go and didn't make any adjustments to anything. So uh, the game was turned up a little bit on the audio like it is now. The direction of the microphones was about 50-50, although in this case, now the directional microphone is fully pointed towards me so my voice uh, can be heard as uh, well as possible with the directional mic. So this is actually a test of that directional mic setting 
in manual mode on the video recording. So we also have a wide angle version with that, but obviously I don't believe at least that the wide angle is gonna shoot in 4K. So I kept everything in UHD for this entire video. I'm really impressed with the V20, and I know I jumped ahead, like I said in the last camera test video. Uh, I didn't do the battery life, I didn't do the call quality, I didn't do the specs, or any of the other uh, nuts and bolts of the V20, but the camera, I was so excited, especially with the preview model, uh, to really test out the camera. And so far, I mean, I don't have an iPhone 7, but as far as my 6S Plus, it is performing every bit as well, and in some cases, outperforming it, especially with manual mode, which makes it a little bit more user-friendly, or if the user isn't as good, in my case, I'm not really a great photographer, or I can't set things on manual mode as well, it can make the picture even worse. So take it or leave it, the manual mode, I think uh, after I learn how to use manual controls, will be really a great feature I can use on this, as well as my Sony A6000, which I shoot a lot of my videos on. So. Make sure to like this video, comment below. Let me know what you think of the V20 and if it's something you're considering uh, to have as your next Android device. Also subscribe and go to stevierichardsonline.com. Check out the store, check out all the free fitness stuff as well as the very affordably priced workout videos. Thank you guys and see you in the next video.